Hi there. Uh, today I thought I would show you how to burn an ISO image to a flash drive, a uh, portable flash drive, uh, or USB flash drive, I guess is another way of putting it. Um, there are There is a command line that you can use in Linux, which I find a little more complicated, and that's where a GUI comes in or a graphical user interface application. Uh, there's one that comes uh, frequently in several of the Ubuntu uh, distributions and maybe even in, uh, I assume, in Arch as well, and it's called um, Disk Utility uh, or Gnome Disk Utility. Uh, there, it may have two different names, I believe. Um, this one is a little more tricky. You have to be careful if when you're selecting what you want to burn. Uh, an example is that I have two hard drives here. The first one that's highlighted, second one is on my other partition. Um, of course, you've got your CD drive, and then I have multiple uh, ports for uh, an SD card, flash drive, these other uh, ports, and that's why they're showing. So when you do burn an image with this, you have to be very careful to select the proper uh, device. And so I'll just begin here with an example that you can, um, you might even experiment before you even proceed with an official burn, I guess. Um, but I have a flash drive here, um, and it's, I'll just name the brand. It's a Lexar, which I've had very few problems with. Um, there, are, there may be some issues with certain brands or certain models. So uh, just be caution, cautionary when you're trying a different uh, flash drive to use and it can have contents on it uh, you can write right over it just be careful that it isn't something you want to save before you flash the drive or erase it so I'm popping in the flash drive right now as I speak you'll you'll see that it's come up it's showing uh, do I want to open the folder you could say okay if you want that just tells you that there's another image on here right now I'm going to close it out but I want to show you that now it shows 32 gigabyte drive Lexar right at the bottom here. And it's I've highlighted it because this is what we're, we're basically going to burn uh, or write right over it or burn over it, I guess you could say. Um, and so what you do here is you highlight the particular drive. Be careful of the choice that you have the right drive that you want to flash. Then you hover your mouse over to the little hamburger menu, uh, which is this here. And what you want to do is you're looking to restore a disk image. So you want to select restore disk image. Then when you're in here, you want to select the image itself, which you would have had to download from a particular website. So normally it would be in your download folders and we're looking for the Gparted Live ISO image here. So I've highlighted it. Um, now I'm gonna open it, which is basically selecting it. Then I'm gonna click Start Restoring right here. And then it's gonna ask you, are you sure? Because once you do this, you're gonna erase that flash drive or whatever drive you're using. So it's trying to ca caution you to make sure you have the right item and I do so now I'm going to click restore and then it's still you have one last uh, thing you have to do is put in your password so I'm going to do that and now it's as you can see it's progressing this is a small image to burn so it won't take long to do um, but you can see the little uh, I guess little icon here telling you that it's moving and you can actually see the burn boom it's done because it was only uh, it, it was a small image and that's how quick this is with this utility it just depends on how large your file is the other thing is if the flash drive is USB 3 versus USB 2 if you have the right if you have a USB port on your computer it will burn faster than a USB 2 port so be aware of that as well um, so I'll close this out and you may not see it on the, uh, it may not even show on your desktop, but if you were to log in, log out, which I can't do at the moment, 
um, you would see that the uh, flash drive would be there. So this this was one example of disk utilities or GNOME disk utility um, application. Now I'm going to also show you Etcher, which is a what they call a app. Um, I think it's called an app image. Yeah, is what it is. It's a portable app uh, used in Ubuntu, and I think several, if not most, of the uh, Linux distros uh, will also use this app image. So it's a portable app. If you, this is a shortcut I have on the desktop, and if you engage it or click on it, I, I use single clicks, so uh, it'll pop up here, and here you have what is called Etcher. Um, this is another GUI. This is a little more easier and less complicated to use uh, once you, you know, if you download the the app, it's pretty much a, a very simple process. But anyway, so here I'm going to select the image with Etcher. I'm just showing you the process here and then I'll elaborate more about Etcher here in a, in a moment. So we go back into uh, downloads. We're looking for Gparted Live. You're going to click open and you'll notice it highlights the USB drive. It focuses strictly on whatever device you've plugged in. So just be aware, still be aware of what you're going to burn because if it's the wrong drive, you will erase it. And you don't want to erase your, you know, valuable uh, external USB drive. You want to make sure it's a flash drive or, or whatever device you're trying to flash. Then click flash and then it's going to ask for your password. And it'll begin starting here. And, and it's pretty quick as much as uh, dish utility. It, it might I don't know, it might be quicker, it's hard to say. They're, I'd say they're pretty close. Um, but once it's done, it'll validate it, and then it'll tell you it's done. And it does it pretty quick here because it is a small image. So I'll just let it uh, finish on its own. Um, there's the, the, the command line I would you know recommend for anybody that's not a newbie, uh, that's uh, a very uh, decisive way of burning an image. Um, it's just that I don't use the command line uh, very much and I'm not really savvy to it. So that's where a GUI comes in uh, to do basically to take its place. So this is taking a little longer than I thought it was going to, but uh, hopefully it'll finish here shortly. Um, and I may just cancel it so I can show you the rest of this video here. Um, although now it is, it's, it appears to be going here. Let's just hold on a, a few moments. Okay, it's finishing, validating, unmounting which is basically disconnecting the USB drive, tells you success, so it's done. And there's the another way of burning an, uh, an image to uh, a, d a particular device. Now, you can. what's good about Etcher is that you can also burn to SD cards. It works, uh, it's a little more universal. I'm not sure if, if you can do that with disk utility uh, or GNOME disk utilities. You, you, probably can, but I've not done it with, with this uh, application. Um, and I guess what's important to, to also tell you is that um, once you've burned the image, you, you'll want to validate the integrity of what you've burned. Uh, and that's where I recommend uh, the show notes uh, that I've listed with the video. Uh, pretty comprehensive in telling you the details of uh, dealing with burning images of various types and um, checking the or, or validifying the integrity of the image that you burned. So I recommend uh, looking at the show notes as well. And uh, that's, that's all I wanted to show you, just a short video on two ways of uh, use, using um, a GUI to burn an image uh, to your flash drive. 
So uh, thanks for watching and uh, keep using Linux.